Hey guys, welcome to another Eurorack unboxing video. So if you remember previously, I showed you guys uh, my Eurorack system based around sampling. So in this episode, I've got two new modules that I just received from Make Noise, um, the Morphogene and the Math. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what they sound like. All right, so here we have the Maths and the Morphogene. So the Math is sort of this complex uh, function generator and you can use it for generating all kinds of different uh, CV signals. And the Morphogene is sort of a sampler on steroids. It records and you can sort of divide things into slices and genes. And most parameters are CV uh, controllable. All right, so first the maths, let's open her up. Got a nice thick bubble wrap here. It actually comes with four screws, which is cool. Here we have the ribbon cable. Get, get rid of the box and here we have the module itself next we have the morphogene let's open her up similar packaging so it comes with four screws which is cool again the ribbon cable let's get rid of the box It's got a nice matte black finish. Nice dense two stacks of PCB boards and the ribbon cable. All right, so I'm gonna install the Morphogene first. So I'm gonna plug in the ribbon cable onto it, making sure that the red stripe here aligns with the minus 12 volts. So the idea is to have the samplers here on the left side and then moving in through the audio signal from left to right with control signals surrounding. So I'm just gonna find an appropriate jack on the power supply here and screw this in. Actually, I just realized that the spacing between the two um, power jacks underneath on the power supply are a little close together and it's actually hard to reach underneath this thing. So before I screw things in, I'm just going to lay out the maths and make sure it's plugged into the power supply as well. So again, similar procedure. I'm going to grab my ribbon cable, align the red line with the minus 12 volt sign here. And then similarly find a power slot for it underneath the morphogene. So I'm just going to put this out of the way briefly for now and make sure I can reach the power. And then I'm just gonna slide this in on the side here and then tuck this in underneath. All right, so now that they're both plugged in, I'm just gonna screw in the morphogene first and then snug the mass in once it's in. Again, if you remember, these rails internally shift a little bit left to right so you can actually nudge it into place. So it's always helpful at the beginning to nudge things into place and loosely put in the opposing screws first and then tighten out the rest. And finally, we're gonna do the same with the math, so I'm gonna make sure it's nice and snug. All right, they're nice and snug, so let's plug in the case and turn it on. So it looks like the lights are turning on, so I think we plugged it in correctly. So I'm just gonna quick create a little patch and just do a quick little demo. So to start things off, I'm just gonna patch in the output from the tip top one directly into my sound device here. So just to hear what's going to sound like. Helena. So that's the sound we're going to be playing. So now I'm just going to patch this through the morphogene. I'm only going to be using the mono channel for now um, since I only have a mono output out of here. And then I'm going to go from the output of the morphogene into my speaker system. I'm going to turn this down, make sure it doesn't blow up. And I'm going to turn the sound on sound knob all the way counterclockwise. That way I'm just going to audition the input into the output. And now if I hit play here. Helena. And so we're just going to do a quick little demo. So when I'm going to hit record, it's going to start recording or sampling. And then when I hit record again, it's going to stop sampling. I'm just going to turn the gene size down 
And let's go ahead and record a small snippet. Turn that off. So now if we audition. And in this middle dial here, you can control the playback speed. So it basically goes from forwards to backwards and at different speeds. And this morph knob here allows you to morph between two different loopbacks so you can make it less abrupt. And here we have a gene size knob, so each slice, which is a short recording, is divided into genes, and then you can change the size of the gene, which effectively grabs a smaller chunk of the, the sound to play back. So the gene size controls the size, and the slide here controls the, the start point. And just to demo the maths briefly, again, the maths is a super dense module, which I don't fully understand yet, but I hope to study the manual and get a better grasp. But for now, I'm just going to use it as an LFO so I can turn on the cycle here. And then you can control the rise time and the fall time of the wave. So basically, it can function as an LFO amongst millions of other functionality. What's cool about the morphogene is basically all these knobs that I was talking about, the gene size, the, the slide, the morph, Basically, everything is CV controllable, so all these effects that you heard you can actually automate, which I think is the power of having a sampler and a modular in the first place. So I'm just going to patch this LFO into my gene size here. And just for fun, we have a second LFO on the other side here. So I'm just going to patch that into... Let's try the morph, see what it sounds like. And then I can take the sum of those signals and maybe modulate the, the speed of the playback. Or the slide functionality. So I'm actually going to go ahead and clear all the sounds by holding shift and rec for three seconds. And let's maybe sample a different piece of the audio, so not just the vocal piece, just to give you a different example of what you can do. So again, I hit record, now it's recording. hit record again and turn this off so now let's go back again all the modulation options are still intact here so you're going to hear a very affected sound but with a different sample now And 
you can create additional what are called slices by hitting the slice button as it's playing. All right, so I'm going to end it there for now, uh, partly because this is just an unboxing video, but also because I'm not fully familiar with all the concepts just yet on these two modules. They're incredibly dense and they're compact, but they do a lot, and the manual is very loaded. So I've been reading through it today, but my head hurts, so <laughs> I need to reread it again. And once I have a better idea, I'm going to be creating more tutorial and patch making videos. But for now, I just wanted to keep you guys updated on my progression of this little sampler modular that I'm doing. So every time I add something new, I'll just create a little unboxing video and show you guys how the modular is growing. And thanks a lot for the suggestions in the comments. You guys give me a lot of cool suggestions for modules to get. Um, my wallet is kind of thin right now after getting these two modules. So it might be a while before I get anything else, but definitely keep the suggestions coming. I, I love Googling this stuff. And yeah, be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with this. Uh, like I said, I'm just building this module and I'm going to be sharing the journey with you guys and hopefully sharing some patch making videos and tutorials as I learn all this stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.